Hi everyone. Hi everyone. This is Sunil here. Hope you're all doing great. And um, the topic for today is it's in the part of the series that is a post stage user exit. So we we are going to talk about the post stage user exit. So let's uh, go ahead. We have a business use case and let's try to understand the business use case. The use case is goes like this that um, every day, I mean, if you understand the architecture of Informatica MDM, then you know that you can manually reject the records or records could be uh, could get rejected automatically. But in any of the cases, you might want to archive archive the rejected records, right? You might want to do that. Uh, why you want to do that? Because uh, um, this is what is a part of regular maintenance activity, production support activity. Because let's say um, I, I, there's a customer, there's a corporate customer, and uh, the name is let's say Cisco, that's a corporate customer, and let's say because of some reason, some ID, some SSN number, or I mean they don't have SSN number, just sorry for that, but uh, any uh, DUNS number or something is invalid because of any uh, anything, let's say this customer is rejected in your MDM, then what will happen is this will go to the reject table, and that's fine, but uh, when you run the job tomorrow, then these uh, records are, will be removed from the reject table right so what you want to do is as a regular part of the maintenance activity production support activity the production support should keep on bugging the source team they should be in constant touch with the source team to rectify this particular customer issue this corporate customer issue and then again they should they should process process what is it process process the customer right so this is something that is very important and it's a important activity so let's see how we can accomplish this using the post uh, stage user exit uh, why I'm choosing post stage user exit for this particular thing because the reject table will only be loaded once the staging table has been loaded so that's what that's the reason why I'm choosing the post stage user exit and uh, <clears throat> okay so let's go ahead and well this is my program I am sorry this is the pre stage and yeah the post uh, stage this is the post stage program okay so what is in here it's just calling a particular procedure that is post stage you can see here and if I go to the database and I check this particular procedure post stage then let's see what happens post stage and yes this is what it is doing post stage okay um, inserting it is inserting data into ARC means archive table okay archive underscore the in staging table name and in staging table name is something that I'm going to get here as a part of the program as input to the program so insert into this table and select uh, SQL generator then sysdate and then select star from uh, nothing but this staging table dot rej means uh, staging table is nothing but my staging table and underscore rej when I when I append it then that becomes my reject table so that is what I have done here and um, when I when this execute this SQL gets executed then you will see that data will be inserted into my archive table and I can check it if it, if something is in here if something is there then I'm going to try to delete that maybe okay let's say I already have two records 2021 20, and I have a date also 1519 that's fine now let me try to do that uh, so this is my program and this is my PL SQL code okay this is my PL SQL code and this is what it is doing so let me um, so let's go ahead and let's try to execute it so export it and next and finish that's okay and uh, let me go to the user object registry remove this and let me add this particular user exit right and so this is done user exit has been loaded already and what I have done is I have already created I have inserted one record that is my base object contains one record uh, if I remember this is my um, party yeah this is my base object and you can see sorry my landing table and you can see it contains already one record one this Sunil right that's fine it's just a dummy I mean this I'm doing a very basic uh, thing right so this is my landing table but what I'm doing here is in my mapping I'm just directly rejecting all the records that I'm getting I'm just testing it okay you can um, put your own code uh, like if name is null reject or something like that right so for me everything is getting rejected and the reason is testing the logic right so when I go and when I run this particular job then you will see that records will be rejected let me go and do that so 
record is rejected you can see here so this triangle mark means record is rejected let's see the reason uh, the reason I can see here is uh, testing the logic uh, value Sunil now that is fine now let's go to the database and see actually if this was done or not uh, this is my table name okay and let me check it so this is done you can see here this is done pretty much so uh, yeah just see here I think lot of records were inserted I don't know why multiple times it ran but uh, only one is actually enough <laughs> strange a lot of records got inserted okay actually the lot of records uh, are inserted into this rejectable the reason is I have not ran my uh, what you say my uh, load because uh, if you run the load job then this will be truncated for example I'll uh, just show you this from the documentation okay the reject table or you can just say reject that's fine Okay, I think it will be here probably. Yeah, <clears throat> here I go. So you can read this. Oh, no, not this one. Okay, right. Uh, this is where it is uh, talking about that. You can see this. Uh, yeah, you can read this article. So that's the reason why this is happening. When I run the load job, then this uh, will be removed. Okay. And I think that's it. That's it about the demonstration. And I hope you understood the uh, business use case and how to implement this particular business use case. And in my next session, I'll be talking about the post load user exit. I'll show you how to implement one. And there we will have slightly complicated concepts because you cannot do everything just in the database. You need a bit more knowledge in Java if you want to use a post land or a, a match or merge user exit. Right? Thanks, guys. Thank you very much.